Ya me sé de ante de gar, me la vi la yo. No ve lo que no hay de boca, te entiende que no hay feru. Hello, hello, hello. Hi cousins, it's Kenya. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video because we are trying out new makeup. Woo woo. So, because I'm in shopping, my bank isn't gonna thank me, but I thank me. You guys are gonna thank me because look what we got. We got so many goodies up in here, okay? There's so many goodies. Like, I think I bought about four different foundations as well. I don't know why I only got one face to try out, but there was a lot of good stuff in there. You know what? Let's just dive in. Let's see what we got. There's a new brand called Flower in Super Drugs. I've never heard of it. I saw it when I was in there and thought it was cute. So I've got this flower in your prime perfecting primer. It looks like this. I also picked up the flower light illusion foundation as well with the light illusion full coverage concealer as well this is the only primer that i bought so let's try it out it doesn't really have a scent to it i mean it feels okay it's not tacky it's not anything to be fair it just feels like a moisturizer I don't know, there's nothing I can really say about it because there's nothing to say. <laughs> like, do you guys see any difference with my skin? Because I do. <laughs> okay, next I picked up this e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. Looks like this. Oh, this smells like coconut. Mmm. This is a very, very fine mist. It legit smells like coconut and it doesn't have that chemical underlay scent to it as well. Next, foundation. I think I might have gone a little bit crazy because <laughs> Yeah, I picked up six foundations, technically four because two are from the same brand so we have the l'oreal tree match nude pumping tinted i hate long names <laughs> so first we have the l'oreal paris tree match nude plumping tinted serum i've got the shade deep and very deep <laughs> very creative with the names l'oreal so we've got deep and very deep right here next i've got this ex1 Invisaware liquid foundation. This is in the shade 18 and 20. Um, next we have the flower liquid illusion luminous makeup need skin fill foundation. Looks like this. I'm gonna shade Coco D4. This is the shade I got. I believe that's a darkest shade they have. And then I just picked up the L Flawless Finish Foundation as well. And this is in the shade Mocha. I'm quite intrigued about this foundation, but I also want to give this one a fair chance as well because I used the primer. I'm gonna use the flower foundation. One thing my drugstore products, they love to wrap their products in plastic. Just giving me a very luxury feel. I actually can't remember how much I bought this for, but this shade looks, this shade looks nice. I don't know what to expect, but the color looks, the color looks pretty nice to be fair. It's not my best match, but it's okay. Okay, let's see what's cracking with this. Let's go and blend this out. This is definitely one of the shades that I have to finesse because it is like on the redder side. I won't lie to you guys, I don't love this foundation just because the color is a little bit off. Is it me? But I'm looking a little bit gray. I'm gonna go with this EX1 foundation in the shade 18 and hopefully try to save this face this packaging feels quite cheap but i think it's the same price as this if i'm not mistaken this has a lot more body to it, it has more weight this is giving more luxury vibe but the product isn't <laughs> but this was quite cheap it's plastic compared to this one which is glass and it looks a bit more luxurious because of the gold but yeah let's just see what it's saying let's just pop some out this one does look a little bit more promising but let's just hope this is too light. Am I gonna end up using all the foundations? 
Okay, this looks like my concealer shade. I'm so determined to save this look. I'm gonna mix the shade 18 and 20 because I believe they didn't have a 19, but I could be mistaken. That's the shade mixed together. Let's try blend this out. Oh. I think we just saved my face <laughs> because that was a lot. So this flower foundation is a no from me. I still have the concealer, I'm gonna give a try, but it's a no. These two shades so far, this was super lightweight on the skin and it is medium coverage, I would say. I would say medium full coverage as well, but then again, I did use this underneath, so. I like this foundation, this is a yes from me. Next for concealers, I have got the Flower Light Illusion full coverage concealer in the shade medium deep. I also picked up the EX1 concealers as well. I got the shade 20 and 11. Let's give them a try. Hopefully they don't disappoint. This is what the Flower Light Illusion concealer looks like and this is what the EX1 concealer looks like as well. I think I'm gonna go with the EX1. This does look a little too bright for me. Yeah, that is way too bright. I'm gonna mix it in with their foundation. I'm just gonna go in and start blending. The shade is super light, but that is due to my error for picking the wrong shade. So I can't really fault them on that. That's not bad, you know. It's blending out really nicely. Yeah, I like that. Next, we're gonna cream contour our face today. I could use the EX1 concealer in the shade 20, but I don't want to go on to give another product a try. It's honestly between the e.l.f. foundation and the L'Oreal True Match foundation as well. Should we use both? They both look so rich in colour. And I want it on my face. <laughs> Let me do a side by side comparison for you guys. They honestly look so identical. So this is the e.l.f. foundation and this is the L'Oreal tinted foundation as well. Um, they look so similar. This one's just a little bit more cooler than this one. I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna use e.l.f. Which isn't showing up on me. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal one. Let's go in and blend this out. Okay, colors, I am not mad at the way the skin is looking right now. Next, we've got some cream blush. This is from e.l.f. I literally picked up this color because it looked so stunning. So this is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. Look at that, that looks absolutely gorgeous. So I forgot to pick up a new under eye setting powder. So I'm just gonna go in and quickly do that. Even though I didn't pick up a new loose powder or a under eye setting powder, I did pick up the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Fresh Wear Powder. This is in the shade Deep Amber. Look how freaking gorgeous that looks. So anything, so I don't know if I'm going to use this as a bronzer or like a face powder. Let's find out. Let's see what purpose it's going to serve, but I know it's going to serve a good purpose, okay? I mean... Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, fallout though. Oh no. Let me try to set this with it. Yeah, it's gonna be a bronzer. Next is eyeshadow, and I picked up this I Have Revolution Stay Sassy palette. I can't actually remember what it looks like. So, this is what the palette is looking like. We have some mattes and we have some shimmers in it. I don't really know what to do today. So I'm gonna start off using this shade right here. I'm gonna be grabbing my Jessup 22 Luxe Oil Over Shader Brush. I'm gonna pat that right into the crease. If I'm being honest guys, I actually do not know why I picked up this palette. I'm gonna grab the same shade and just start working that upwards, building it into my transition. As 
this I'm gonna grab the flower concealer I'm gonna use this to curve out my eyelid I think this is the closest I can get the two cut crease to look. I'm gonna use this shade. Oh my God, they have names. I am so blind. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm gonna use this shade. This is in the shade Sapphires. It's like a baby bluish shade. You guys can't really see it because of the color. Ooh, that looks nice. Now I'm gonna use this shade called Bonjour for the rest of the lid. Okay, so this is the best thing I can come up with my eyes with this palette right now. This palette isn't a bad palette. I just don't think the color scheme is me. The shimmers actually came up really nicely. So they have the matte shade that I use, but to be honest, I don't use three shades, so I can't really take as much. It's an eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palettes, there's billions of them, okay, at this point. My face is looking a little bit dry. I'm just gonna go back with the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist again. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is the EX1 blush. And this is in the shade Love Story. And I just think this looks delicious. Yes. Next is lips. The final thing that I picked up from the drugstore is this e.l.f. Lip Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade uh, Mocha Twist Mocha. It is so cute and I know that I have so many of the shade but this, we're just calling my name so I thought I had to get it, okay? <laughs> mm. It's giving me a Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss vibe. I'm just gonna set my face one more time. I really like this setting spray. There's a castor by my side, oh, why? Set it to put it for me, or the other baby. Put them high yardies, yardies. Don't be your bother, and it all. Okay, so it is time for the verdict. Not gonna lie. I'm impressed with some of the shades, but I'm also not like wowed. Like I didn't really shiver my timbers. Some of those products you can avoid buying. I was really excited about today's video. Some of the products have disappointed me. I won't lie. First things first, the flower primer. I can't say that you need this, but I can't say that you don't at the same time because I don't know. But I would say that all the skin products that I placed on top of it wasn't separating, didn't have any issues. You can purchase it, but there is a lot more primers in the drugstore department that I personally love and I wouldn't recommend that. I absolutely love this e.l.f. Dewy Sediments because I feel like this is one of the products that actually saved today's look. It's just giving a healthy glow because you know like some other setting sprays, use it once baby. Your whole face is gonna end up looking sweaty. This setting spray doesn't do that. So this is a yes. Go get it. My name. Okay. This light illusion foundation from Flower. I oh, like the texture of the foundation. It felt nice. I love the packaging. It's given that luxurious feel, which I actually like. However, in the bottle, it looks nice, but on the skin. The product inside, baby, <laughs> run. <laughs> it is not for me. Uh, I just think the undertone isn't hitting the same. However, the EX foundation, 
it's honey. I do like these foundations. I will be using them again. It literally goes on like water on your face. But once you start blending it out, it still feels lightweight, but it literally covers everything. If you're my shade and they don't have the shade 19, you do have to get these two shades just because this one will come out a bit too light and this one will come out a bit too um, red on you. So you do need to buy both of them if you are interested in this foundation. Next, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Because I didn't really give this a full try on my overall face, I can't really talk much about it. And the same goes for the Elf foundation as well. I've had the Elf foundation a long time ago and I have tried it out, but the shade that I got didn't match me well. So that's why I picked up a darker shade. But I really can't speak on both foundations because I didn't use as much. But as a bronzer, I actually do like both shades. Flower Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. I would absolutely love this concealer. The thickness of it was something that I do like in my concealers. I only use it to cut my crease and I felt a little tingly feeling. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to happen, but I was experiencing that when I was applying it, but I just kept going because, I don't know what's wrong with me, okay? Absolutely love the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. Literally a Too Faced Lip Injection Dupe. I also love the e.l.f. Putty Blush as well. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This L'Oreal Infallible Press Powder. I love the chocolateness of it. However, there was a lot. And I mean a lot of fallout, um, so I don't know about that, but it is a good powder to bronze with if you're my shade. The I Heart Revolution Stay Sassy palette. Honestly, the palette is stunning. It's just not my color scheme. What did you guys think about the palettes that we used in today's video? And that is all I have to say, I believe. Thank you cousins so much for watching. You guys know that I love and appreciate you guys so much. And inshallah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye cousins. Mwah.